<clears throat> hey, hello. Today we're going to be doing a tier list. This tier list is going to be aiming um, AR45 uh, to AR55 players because um, I think those are the uh, I think that is the target audience of all tier lists in Genshin because otherwise I think if you're above AR56 or 57, uh, I think at that point you have all the necessary meta units and you can clear all the content in the game, or you just don't really care about clearing the content and you just pull for waifu or husband of reasons. Okay, so uh, we're going to start out with Albedo. Albedo is going to go uh, straight into D tier. I think this character has uh, no place in the meta. The character is just overall just bad. There's Fischl. Fischl is a four star. I meant to say that Fischl can proc reactions and overall. During a rotation due to her A4 passive, she can do more damage also and Albedo's flowers can break sometimes. Kokomi, she's A tier, she's fine. Um, if you have her, she's really good. Uh, some people can argue that she's S tier, but for me she's A tier. I think she uh, she's one of the, those characters that is eventually going to get power prepped by a 4 star or maybe a, a different 5 star unit that is just going to be overall better and have more supportive capabilities. Uh, Ganyu, uh, Ganyu's... B tier, she's S tier for exploration and for overworld stuff, uh, but uh, remember that she needs a shield at all times, almost at all times, uh, or Dea. Uh, so without those care, without the shield, without uh, or without Dea, she's kind of bad overall in general. But in terms of meta, she's kind of B tier or C tier. In my opinion, she's kind of B tier. Uh, you can clear content with her, but uh, I don't know. So there's just much easier uh, characters to clear content with. Uh, same thing with Wander. Wander is also like B, B or C tier. Uh, I think we're, I'm just going to place them in, uh, in C tier. Um, Synchro. Uh, Synchro is S tier. I mean, no doubt this this character does it all. Uh, literally one of the most popular characters to this day in all of the hardest content. Uh, he has uh, uh, very high damage um, as an off-field DPS, or sub-DPS, and he also provides a lot of uh, Hydro, which is a very necessary element in the game. And as you can see, both Hydro units are kind of far up the list, and we're going to see that as a big trend uh, going forward. Just a small hint. Okay, uh, next one, next up is Yuemiya. I think Yuemiya is just terrible. And she, she's also in the same tier... Uh, in the same tier as Albedo for, for content. This is matter. This isn't a waifu. In terms of waifu, she's literally my favorite character, one of my favorite characters. But uh, as for content, she's D tier without investment. With investment, if you have like Yulon, uh, Sing Cho, uh, Zhong Li, I, I think that's the team, right? She can go into B tier or A tier, but without investment with like a Rust and like, I don't know, subpar characters like Yunjin, Bennett, I don't know. I mean, those aren't subpar characters, but without like a shield, without like a uh, high investment, without like a Yulon C2, probably, <laughs> maybe. Um, yeah, generally speaking, I would never recommend Yuemiya for meta. Meta reasons, there's better characters. Um, Amber is F tier, Candice is F tier, Elo is F tier. Ito is surprisingly, he's uh, around this tier, about A tier, B tier. Uh, he. He's fine. Uh, if you have him, if you have the setup, if you have like uh, Goro and Albedo, uh, then yeah, by the way, that is the only reason why you pull Albedo. You pull him for Ito, but Ito can do enough damage without Albedo. So, you know, he's kind of even unnecessary. We have like Zhang Li, Goro, and maybe like a Mona or a Bennett to support him. Uh, he becomes really strong. And also with uh, his signature weapon, he's really strong. But again, he requires a lot of investment and a lot of five stars. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna put him here in B tier. We'll see how uh, how this tier list goes on, but yeah, he's for sure above Ganyu and Wanderer. Uh, I'll hide them as S tier. I think this is the strongest DPS right now in the game in terms of like C zero investment. Uh, he does require Nahida, but you can play Yao Yao with him or uh, Dendro Traveler or even Kali uh, for that matter. But yeah, Nahida, Nahida really like pushes him over the the edge uh, above other characters, above other DPS characters in the game. So I'll put him above uh, Sinchro for now. I think uh, being the strongest DPS in the game, there's like not a there's no reason for him be, being uh, below Sinchro, even though Sinchro by some standards is the strongest unit in the game or the most overtuned uh, unit in the game. But we'll see. Um, Sino. Um, Surprisingly, same thing as Ito. Um, 
he's actually above Ito uh, in terms of damage, as far as I know. I think looking at the calcs, uh, he he does overperform Ito, and he requires less investment. But again, he same boat as uh, Alhaitem. He is uh, he requires Nahida. Right, uh, Barbara, um, C tier support. She can work in some cases, but again, only if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you know how to like abuse her, uh, abuse the fact that she's a catalyst. Uh, she can do. She can do some. Uh, cool tenacity of the middle of this uh, uh, throwing tails uh, buffing, which is 68% attack, which is a lot. And also she's a healer, which is really good. Same same thing as Kokomi, but her hydro application can be subpar sometimes, especially without constellations. Okay, uh, moving on. Um, uh, Kaya, same thing as Barbara, uh, but he's more of a sub DPS than. Uh, than her, and again, he requires constellations. Very hard to get those constellations, or you have to be very lucky to get them, or just spend a lot of star glitter in the shop, which I don't really recommend. I think getting the pulls and getting five stars is just better than going for constellations per Kyle, unless you really like this character, or I don't know, you're just crazy. Like the Jeff. <laughs> okay, um, moving forward, we have uh, Rosaria. Uh, Rosaria is above uh, Kaya for that reason alone that you can get her constellations much easier and she's I think she's one of the most uh, frequent units on the banners uh, as far as rate ups go but again I, I haven't seen uh, all those calcs yet or all those statistics uh, I know that I think Sucrose is one of them as well so Barbara is one of them as well yeah so okay uh, moving on Ayaka I mean Ayaka fell off um, she used to be the best DPS in the game in terms of like C0 investment, but again, she required like a very strong team around her, like with, uh, with a bunch of five stars. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, she's above Sino. A lot of people say that she's bad against bosses. That's not true. Uh, her DPS uh, falls by like, I think it's like 10% against bosses, which is, you know, when you have uh, a one mil rotation and now you do nine mil rot uh, 900,000 rotation, you know, it's it's still be better than Amber DPS, or it's still better than Ganyu that does like 800,000 uh, rotation. So, uh, Ayaka against bosses is better than like most of these characters against bosses regardless. She still is one of the strongest characters in, ter in, in terms of like her teams. And she's a very comfy character to use, um, unless you play on mobile or Xbox. And then yeah, she becomes kind of, you know, kind of not really that strong. Uh, Beto, I think same thing as uh, Kaya, she, or uh, same thing as Barbara, if you know what you're doing, Beto can be strong, but generally I would not recommend leveling her. She used to be very strong when we had a specific, um, um, when we had specific abysses where there were like a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of enemies, a lot of double enemies, like for example the Kairagi. Uh, she used to be very strong against that, but for right now, like, I don't know. I <laughs> I literally think that she's terrible. And she, like, doesn't fit anywhere. Uh, and she just feels bad to play right now. Uh, especially, like, with all the shields, her energy requirements being so high. And then the fact that you have to bring another Electro, and that's special, and that's, like... She doesn't proc uh, Hyper Bloom. Oh my god, there's like so many uh, so many reasons why Beto fell off and not and isn't really good that anymore. Uh, although a lot of meta uh, players or a lot of like meta analytics put her uh, quite above uh, C tier. They usually put her in like A or sometimes even still S tier. But again, like uh, I think that's just not true anymore. Uh, Chong Yun D tier. Uh, he's better than these three characters, but you know. Still would never recommend using him. He's a he can be a fine um, main DPS, but again, like like any four star DPS, just not that great. Uh, Mona, same thing as Beto and Barbara. Uh, by the way, these aren't ordered yet. I'll order, order them here, uh, later. She's good in Ayaka teams, but again, like Ayaka teams have Barbara and Kokomi that are just superior to Mona in my opinion because they provide healing. Uh, so yeah. And besides that, she does, again, she has like an Edo team where like she can be good with Edo, but again, like she can be good with Alhite and can be good with Ganyu. But again, if you know what you're doing, she's probably going to be a fine character, but still kind of average. Uh, going uh, forward, we have Bennett. Ben, uh, I'm not putting him F tier. Don't worry. He's still uh, S tier. He's still one of the strongest uh, buffers in the game. 
even though we already have like a lot of buffers, he still is quite above other characters. Uh, Diluc, uh, D tier, same thing as Yoimiya, uh, literally would never recommend him. Uh, who tells B tier or A tier? I think she's like, I think in terms of power level, she's like right there with Ayakon. Um, but again, with uh, the problem with uh, Hu Tao is that you need her weapon. Uh, otherwise, you're not doing, you're not going to be reaching the same heights as Ayaka. Whereas Ayaka, she doesn't need her weapon, and pulling on the weapon banner can be sometimes a really rough thing to do. Or she needs PMJ, uh, Primordial Jade on Spear, whatever that the weapon is called. Um, but that weapon is just luck. Like you, you just have to have to get lucky. So yeah, she's. With uh, Homa, she can be above Ayaka or about the same level as Ayaka without uh, Homa. Uh, and we're looking at their best in slot teams, right? We're not looking at like other teams. Without Homa, she's uh, below Ayaka. But generally speaking, they're both the same characters in terms of DPS. Uh, Diona, D tier, uh, literally almost never used anymore. Uh, Yanfei's C tier. I think she's the best uh, four star DPS in the game. For some reason, I thought Ningguan was for a very long, long time, but now like looking at the meta and looking at like what she provides to the team besides uh, just damage, she provides a shield, uh, so you literally sometimes don't even need to run her with a support uh, that can heal, so she can run something like Synchro. Uh, Synchro, Nahida, and um, Fischl, which is a pretty good team. I tried it a couple of times on my other account, uh, and it's it's fine. I, I'd say that it's she's like uh, almost the same uh, damage as Wander or Ganyu, in my opinion. She can do like some pretty crazy damage, especially with Virgin, and especially like with some, you know, other comps. And even like Mono Pyro is still pretty good. She's still pretty good in Vape if you do like Elon, Singcho, uh, something like that. Uh, official, uh, definitely A tier. Uh, definitely one of the best. Uh, uh, sub DPS is in the game, like no doubt. Literally, like uh, her damage is lower than uh, Synchro for for sure. But again, uh, the fact that she can uh, proc Hyper Bloom and the fact that she has the A4 passive and also the C6 uh, makes her like like literally god tier. For if you have her C6, then she's S tier. But again, this is a, a uh, this is an AR45 to AR55 uh, tier list or AR-56, I'd say. So for people who are struggling with content, and I doubt that you're going to have a lot of 4 stars at C6, but if you do have her C6, she's S tier. So yeah, moving on. Goro, um, a support for Ito, uh, kind of C tier, same, situational. Uh, Zhao is B tier. I think he's above uh, Ito, in my opinion, because of Farazon. But again, he's really strong. Like, if you have Zhao, he's actually, like, He's actually decent. He really he he doesn't really have a hard time clearing the abyss usually. So or and especially like event event stuff. He's really good in event stuff because events usually have a lot of like plunging damage bonuses and just animal damage bonuses, which are very hard to use on a lot of characters except Wander and Chao, but Chao is just a better version of uh, Wander. Wander did not power creep him. Um so yeah. Uh Kazuha S tier. Um I think I think he's lower now than he used to be because again he can't buff dendro he can't buff electro in dendro teams because again it's kind of hard to buff electro in dendro teams because uh dendro overrides the electro and it's like i've tried using him with uh, yaimiko and nahida at the same time and it's just it's terrible so yeah he still is really good for melt and for uh for melt comps for vape comps and for freeze comps but otherwise, like, he literally fell off. Like, he's literally not as good as he used to be. Oh, again, Mono Pyro, uh, Raiden, uh, Mono Electro, like, uh, Raiden, Shogun, Hyper Carry Comps, and whatnot. Okay, moving on. Um, Klee, I think Klee is D tier. Again, same thing. Would not recommend building her. She can be strong. She's stronger than Yuimiya, in my opinion. But again, like, she's single target. She, she sometimes can do, like, uh, AoE damage, but again, it's not very consistent. But in that regard, she's better than Yuimiya just because of that. Uh, Lisa is D tier. She's stronger than these characters for sure. She's almost C tier, but again, it's because of her passive. Uh, her passive uh, has uh, defense reduction, which is very useful in some comps, and also she can call Hyper Boom pretty reliably. 
I think actually she she actually is stronger than Beto, in my opinion. Yeah, true. Sure. Uh, Yula. Uh, Yula is... I think Yula is stronger than these two uh, Iro DPSs, but again, I, I never played Yula that much, so I can't say. Uh, Yamiko is Beecher. Um, I think Yamiko doesn't really struggle in blue ring content, but she's terrible to play, and she requires a lot of investment, and also it's like, right. Are you really gonna play Yaimiko for meta reasons, or you can just pull any of these characters, right? So yeah, and she's she's above Xiao and and Ito because she does have higher uh, DPS ceiling. But again, she struggles with the same thing as Yaimia because her uh, AOE is almost non-existent. I mean, actually, she does have some AOE with her ultimate, but again, she's kind of single target, and that's what really caught me off guard when I started like really playing her a lot. And she's actually a single target character, not AoE. Uh, Kaching, she's the same power level as Yamiko, uh, except for some reason people say that Yamiko is stronger in single target scenarios and uh, Kaching is stronger in uh, AoE. Uh, AoE is more prevalent in the harder content, so uh, because bosses usually don't have a lot of HP, uh, and yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna play her here. Um, Raiden Shogun is better than these two for sure, but again, um, not as strong as people used to think. She's still uh, a part of the best team in the game. A best free-to-play team in the game, I'd say. And she has very good uh, vertical investment with her C2 and C3. And even C1 is not that bad as people make it out to be, so yeah. But again, uh, in terms of like power level, if you have her, do you need to build her? Only if you have C4 Shunling, which is like a gatekeep because... I've been playing the game on my other account for one and a half years, and my Shangling is still C0, so... Yeah. <laughs> I have more constellations on my Raiden than I do on my Shangling, so yeah. If you have Shangling C, uh, C4, she is S tier, otherwise she's B tier, she's not really that strong, because again, her hyper carry teams are weaker than these teams, and she's not as good in aggregate. So yeah, that's why I'm putting her A tier, but again, below these two, above Sinal. Uh, actually below Sinal, Sinal's better. Uh, Ning Wan's F tier. Okay, she's not F tier, but she's almost F tier. She's D tier. Uh, practically no damage at all. Uh, Nilu's S tier. Nilu is, um, again, if you have the components to make her work, she really needs Nahida. Um, you have Nahida with her. Uh, she literally, but again, that's like almost all characters here. She becomes uh, very, very uh, strong. She becomes one of the best characters in the game. And in terms of like clearing content, you're never gonna struggle in AOE scenarios ever again. If you, if you just, if you're struggling with AOE, this is the number one character that you should pull and build. Okay, uh, moving on. Yulan. Yulan is S tier, uh, kind of below Syncho, but again, in some cases, she's way above him. Again, it really depends on like the teams you play, and it depends on like. Do you actually need her? Because she's a five-star character and Sing Chou's free. Do you actually need her? She, you can, you might want her for like just looks, then I understand. But again, there's not a lot of characters that really need her. Like Sing Chou is just fine, and she doesn't provide that much more of damage than Sing Chou, especially at C zero and no five-star weapon. So yeah, uh, just my opinion. Uh, Layla is above Diana. I think Layla. Power creep Diana pretty hard. I think she's Seacher or uh, kind of above these. Below Mona, I'd, I'd say. Uh, Child is uh, B tier. I think Child, if you know what you're doing, then he's good. Uh, and he's uh, he's pretty solid. He's a pretty solid character. Um, but I think Ayato in that regard is stronger. Um, it's not biased. I think that uh, in, in terms of damage, in terms of overall damage, I think he's definitely stronger than Ayato. But when you look at his teams, Child is only played in one team, which is, again, a C4 Shaolin team. If you don't have C4 Shaolin, Child is not your pull. If you have C4 Shaolin, then he's definitely above Ayato. But Ayato can be played as a as any character you like. You know, he can be played in Hyper Bloom, he can be played in their Quick Bloom teams. I don't know what they're called, because I still don't understand uh, the difference. I know that Sino uses Quick Bloom while like, I don't know. I don't know what's the what the difference is, because the damage is literally the same. Um, uh, yeah, and he can be used in... Um, 
He can be used in a lot of teams. He can be used in Hyper Carry Ayatel. He can be used in even Nilu teams. He can be used in um, with uh, other Pyro characters, with other Cryo characters, with other Dendro characters. So yeah, overall, he's just generally better. If you have him, if you somehow manage to get him at some point in the game, because I don't think he's going to get a rerun anytime soon, but if you have him, he's really strong. He's You should build him. Um... And also, he uses a lot of good uh, four-star weapons, which is good. He's not reliant on his signature weapon. He doesn't do that much damage, but yeah, overall. Okay, moving on. Uh, Noel is F-tier. I think there's no reason why you should ever build Noel. Um, literally, like, I'm sorry. If you got baited by her, she's not that strong. All she does is, like, she can only heal while she's on field if you're... You, you, there are so many characters that can heal you off field, and also her shield is like 15 seconds and a 30 second cooldown. 30 seconds in Genshin is a lot of time. There's no time, there, it's too much waste of time. Uh, okay, and her damage is subpar. Jean is again like C tier, uh, she's right there next to Mona. If you know what you're doing, she's good, but again, for Destin characters, they're not as great anymore. For animal characters, kind of need a buff. XD. Um, Chichi's C D tier, uh, kind of like somewhere here. I think she's better than Diluc in some scenarios, but again, the, those scenarios are kind of kind of rare. Um, Razor, uh, same thing. Yeah, actually, Razor F tier. Uh, aside from like few instances, but again, yeah. Uh, uh, Kujasara is a C tier support, uh, right there next to Lisa. Same thing, she she does give you a lot of attack, and she also gives you energy recharge, which people don't really know that she does, but she does do that. And she generates a lot of energy, she's pretty good. Uh, again, if you if you have C6, she's used with a lot of characters, she used, she's used with Kaching, uh, she's used with uh, Yaimiko, she's used with Raiden, but if you don't have her C6, you need her C2, and I guess it's kind of easy to get her. Because she's only up in uh, right end banners, and usually when you pull up her right end, you're gonna get multiple copies of Sara. But if you don't, uh, don't worry, D don't bother building this character. Um, C tier, D tier. Uh, yeah, she's she's below the look. She's below Diana. Like literally, uh, not usable anywhere. Uh, Shankra is kind of the top of C tier, I guess. She's not as strong as. Uh, people make her out to be. She really requires a lot of energy recharge. Uh, her weapon choices are kind of meh uh, because it's Pavonius and, you know, if you, if you use Pavonius, she doesn't do that much damage. She does provide cool buffs, but it would be nicer if she deal damage off field, but she just doesn't. Um, Sucrose is A tier. Uh, if you have Sucrose and you don't have Kazuha, uh, don't don't struggle. Don't think that you can't play Sucrose instead of Cosmo because they're literally the same characters. The only reason why people don't use Sucrose is because she's clunky to play. She just doesn't feel good to play. But I used Sucrose for like two years on one of my accounts, and I never struggled with content. And when I got Kazuha, I'm like, bruh. It's not. It's the same thing. Like literally, the damage. Uh, the only teams where, which she buffs like significantly are Ayaka teams or he buffs other teams it's like they're the same character she's also but again they're the same characters if sucrose is c6 if she's if she's like c2 or c1 then yeah she's worse than cause so keep that in mind um toma uh i think toma is somewhere here then she um I think Vinci is like kind of underrated, especially right now. I think that there's more content that is uh, Vinciable. It's just people don't really want to use him for some reason. I mean, again, he's not that bad against bosses. People make him out to be. He's just a viridescent character that provides a lot of energy. And a lot of the time, people struggle with energy recharge against bosses. So he can be pretty strong. Keep that in mind. Um, Sean Ling, again. Is C4 or C0? C0, she's literally unusable because there's no reason to ever use Shang Ling at C0. C4 or above, she's uh, like A tier, she's above these two for sure. But I don't think she deserves S tier because she kind of requires Bennett most of the time. Okay, uh, Xin Yang, uh, I think F tier. Uh, <laughs> nah, I'll put her here, A tier. 
here. Uh, Yun Jin is kind of like here, I think. She has like two niche scenarios where you want to use her, and that's Hyper Carry Ayato and Yumiya. And in both of those teams, she is replaceable by Sing Cho, and she's just better than, like, Sing Cho is just better, and then there's like Bennett, and then there's like uh, Sucrose or Kozova, whoever you want to use. And it's like, why would you ever use this character? <laughs> Even, and she's like the same, like, I don't know, just terrible character. Um, moving on, we have uh, Jean Li. I think Jean Li is like C tier. Again, not very used by anyone except for Ito and, uh, and Xiao. Those are the only scenarios where you kind of want to pull for uh, Jean Li or you want to get this character. Otherwise, if you have this character, don't you, like, you can build him because if you're, if you're struggling with like, uh, if you're dying a lot, then this character is S tier. But otherwise, like, why would you ever get him? Oh, yeah, and he's good with Ganyu and Yoimiya, but these characters are like, can you like see? They're C and D tier, so yeah. Uh, Kuki is. S tier, one of the best 4 stars in the game right now, she just does a lot of damage with uh, proccing Hyper Bloom and being able to heal, which is a very good combination. Uh, Hazel's F tier, I tried building this character, he just feels bad to play, and in any case, like C0 Sucrose is always better than a, than a Hazel, just because Sucrose can buff. Um, okay. Uh, Unless you like really, really invest into him, but again, who who would ever have the money and the time and the resources to invest at, into a Hazel at like AR forty five or AR fifty five, right? Uh, Coley, um, unless you really like him, okay. Uh, Coley is D tier. Um, I think she's above Jean Lee, yeah, sure. Um. Yulon. Oh, I already rated Yulon. Oops. Um, never mind. Uh, Dory is F tier. I actually Dory is D tier. I think she is like above Sayu, but lower than Diona. I think that's kind of fair. DMC. Um, I'm only gonna be rating uh, Dental Traveler. By the way, Aether sucks. Lumina is better. Uh, Lumine is uh, definitely uh, like Dental Traveler is definitely like. A B tier, C tier support. Um, somewhere around this level, that's kind of that's kind of true. They're kind of a B tier character, in my opinion. Uh, Tainari is, I don't know. Tainari's fine, but again, he does a lot of damage. But his problem is that he's single target, and there's not a lot of scenarios where single target that is like very good. Sure, you have some bosses, but like. Why would you not bring an AoE team into the boss? And because the next room, the next chamber is going to be AoE anyways. So it's like, and it's like a lot of the time, like, the problem with Genshin and the problem with like people who actually like great characters is that they say, oh, Tainari is good because he's he has good single target potential. Yeah, sure he does. But then again, look at like characters like, for example, Al Haitam, or look at characters like, for example, Raiden, uh, even like Ayako or Fu Tao. They're not single target. They they have AoE. I guess Hu Tao is like a bad example, but okay, they have AoE. Uh and they do the same damage as Tainari, but they're AoE. So they're just better, right? They're just better than this character. And it's like they're gonna be clearing the same content at the same uh the same rate as Tainari, but when there it's gonna come to like AoE content, he's just gonna be so much worse. He's gonna be like five or ten times worse than these characters. So yeah. I don't think it's worth uh, building him unless you really like him. Uh, Nahida's S tier, literally the best character in the game right now. She, I don't know what's gonna change to make her worse, but like, she's literally the best character in the game. Almost every single uh, character wants this character on their team. So yeah, Dendro is really a game changer, but just because of her. Other characters, other other Dendro characters are not as strong as her. So yeah, um, Farzan. Uh, D tier, um, or uh, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put her B tier, uh, or like Xiao and Wanderer teams. She's literally S tier, but uh, no, nah, people are gonna get baited. I'm just gonna put her D tier, whatever. Uh, if you don't have C six, don't even bother building this character. Not worse. Um, Yao Yao is, I think Yao Yao is here. Same thing as GMC. If you have Yao Yao, 
Uh, you should build Yao Yao over DMC, over Dentro Traveler, but you can build both. Doesn't really matter. I, I think it's just Yao Yao providing the healing. She doesn't buff you that much, uh, except her C1 gives you Dentro damage bonus, but again, you don't really need the Dentro damage bonus. It's not that Dentro does so much damage, but yeah. Um, Dea, Dea is, Dea is kind of fine, but again, in terms of like meta, she's probably like somewhere here. She's good for Overworld. I really like her in Overworld. Uh, Mika's F tier. Like literally, you don't even need to like Eula. Eula's best teams, which is the only physical character in the game, by the way. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't. Her best team doesn't use uh, Mika. So yeah, like what? What? Why would you ever build this character? Feminine, um as far as I've seen, he is fine as a DPS. Um, he's a physical cryo DPS, which is, eh, eh, it's fine. You can be good with, like, Shenho or something, but, eh, it's, like, it's bottom of D tier, almost F tier, so. I'm not even, like, overrating him. <laughs> um, Lynette is okay -ish. Um, I think she becomes really strong at C4. Uh, C6 is of 8, you don't need C uh, C6, but I think she becomes pretty good at C4. But again, Verdescent characters are not that strong anymore, so I don't I don't see a reason why you would want to build her. Uh, I don't know. I, I think she's like somewhere here, I guess. Yeah, she's kind of like right here. Yep. Yeah. Um Lenny is good. Lenny is B tier. Um but again, he's kind of like he does he's not he's not he's like child. He has single target damage, but he also has actually no child is all AoE. Never mind. Uh, he has single target damage, like Tainari, for example, but he also has AoE, which is really good, so... And he also uses the Mono Pyro team, which is kind of funny, because we already have a character that does that, which is Klee, but somehow he turned out to be, like, pretty good. And his teams, uh, like, comparison and com comparing his teams to other teams, he's actually really strong, but his problem is that he's only good in Mono Pyro teams, which makes him very reliable on one team comp, and that's Shaolin Bennett Kazuha. Uh, and he doesn't really have other options. You can't really run him in, uh, what's it called, in Vape. You can't really run him in Melt. So, uh, I don't know. Virgin is not, again, not, as, not the same, so. That's why he's like, he's stronger in terms of damage than these characters in uh, B tier, in his best team. But if there's any case where you can't use Pyro, or Pyro is just not the best element to use. He's not going to be that strong. So yeah, keep that in mind that normally I would rate him A tier, but just knowing the fact that there's sometimes uh, situations where there are Pyro resistant enemies, I'm going to put him in B tier. Uh, Kirara, I think Kirara is D tier. Um, again, I don't, I don't see anyone using this character except for exploration. But yeah. Um, I, and I tried building her, uh, it didn't really work out. Um, Baishu is, surprisingly, he's above these characters. Actually, he's A tier. Uh, if you if you want uh, a good Dentro support and you just have Baishu, then he's good. But he's, in terms of like pull, pulling uh, value, he's like A tier. But if you have him, he's A tier, definitely. Uh, it's, it doesn't mean he's so much better than these characters, but he is a bit better than these characters, and that just like pushes him over into A tier, but just as a support. Um, last up is Kave. Kave is terrible. Kave is like F tier. <laughs> okay, Kave is not F tier in terms of like uh, AoE scenarios, which actually makes him kind of better than these characters. Yeah, kind of better than these two characters. Uh, in terms of AoE scenarios, he's just like Nilo. Like, if you're struggling in AoE and you have, I think it's C C4 or C2, uh, Kave, I think it's C4 actually. Um, then, yeah, he becomes pretty strong. He's actually not that bad. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I, I don't remember his constellations because my copies are all C0, so, well, on the accounts that I play on. So, I don't know, um, what, what his constellations do for that reason, but yeah, I think overall this tier list is actually not that bad. Um, yeah, by the way, what I was saying about, uh, Kave, um, I forgot, I didn't mention it, is that if you're struggling in, in AoE, he's really strong. He's like, he's gonna be better than C tier characters, 
for your account specifically if you're if you're struggling into aoe scenarios because bloom his blooms don't do that much damage as Nilu, but he can proc them reliably and he can do some damage with them so it's not it's not that terrible uh okay so uh yeah overall this tier list i think it kind of represents um every every everything in the meta right now I think uh, I think Neo is kind of overrated in this tier list, but again, it's just that her AOE is that strong. And as you can see, there's like a lot of Hydro characters uh, at the top, some Dendro characters, but not a lot. And there's some Electro characters. Actually, there's one, two, three, four, four Electro characters. That's not bad. Uh, and only two Animal characters. Uh, I don't know. Something to keep in mind that like in terms of elements. Um, the only elements that you should not be building and that you don't really see in this tier list are Cryo and, or in the in the tier list above, like B tier and above, is Cryo. Cryo is not really here anywhere except for Ayaka, but that's a whole different reason. Um, and there's no uh, Geo characters because except for Ito, but again, for a whole separate reason because he's like literally the only good Geo character in the game. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think I. Oh, and then there's also, sorry, there was a Cryo characters, sure. Uh, and Pyro characters. Pyro characters are like Shao Ling and Bennett, and maybe Hu Tao if you have her, but generally, like, yeah, it's just these two, and then everything else is like kind of meh, kind of mid average. Don't really recommend, so yeah. Um, this is my tier list. I kind of like it. I think I did a pretty good job on explaining everything um, briefly and shortly. If there's like any questions, you can leave a comment, ask me, I'll read it and answer it, or I'll try to answer it. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.